Today on Truck U, we bring in two nearly identical Toyota Tundras. We're going to give them both a better ride and a better look, and we've got a contest designed to decide what vehicle gets what part. Now, I think this one's actually a little bit taller, though. I you don't know, know. If we broke it out. Yeah. So here's where we're at. Today on the show, we have got two big Tundras in here. Good looking trucks, a lot of similarities between the two. You think? I mean, they're exact <laughs> same color. One's an 07, one's an 08. I mean, one guy put a lift kit on, the other guy put a lift kit, wheels yeah. and tires. It's like these guys are trying to compete or something. I tell you, we know the guys that own these trucks, and we're trying to look for the right adjective to describe them. I've used this word before. Be well, I can't put my finger on it. Uber competitive. That's exactly what it is. You know, and the good thing is, you and I aren't like that. No, not anymore. at all. I mean, in, maybe a couple years ago, right, right. it's water under the bridge. It's not like that anymore. Okay, so here's where we're at. We've got all these products to go under these trucks. All we have to do is figure out which one's going to go on which truck. You know what I say we do? Since the trucks are so similar, we can have a point of reference. I say we pick a truck. Sure. All right, I'll take this one. All right. You that's fine. That? Yeah, okay. that's fine. I'll take this one too then. I'm cool. Just so you know, mine's got a bigger motor. Not that that matters. No, that's no big deal, dude. And I have way more lights in the front. I mean, a much for bigger the motor. It's not a competition, bro. No, no. It's no. not a competition. All right, so how are we going to divide this up? I just say we just start grabbing. What do you no, say? No, let's go even. I, hold on. I don't take everything, dude. We need oh, to figure out, right. hold on, this has to be equitable and we need to figure out a way, all right? All right, how about a game of horse? No basketball, no. Roll some dice? No, nothing like that. Got it, hold on, I have just the idea, you ready? Something a little more, I like your ideas. a little more manly. Manly? Stay with me. You? Please. Manly? Trust me. My truck is a lot nicer. Mine's taller. So this is what you had in mind. Yeah, you're finally coming around a little bit. Nice to get out. That's not loaded, right? No, not yet. All right, feel not a little yet. better. All right, here's what I have in mind. A little competition of sorts, right? Competition of accuracy, control, and whatnot. Right? Now, and you do realize I've never shot a handgun before. Uh, yeah, why do you think we're here? I mean, paintball, I'm a master, I tell you, but <laughs> a, the real thing, not so much. I need every advantage I can get, dude, you know? All right, so here's what we're fighting for. First thing up, it's parts. It's all about who's going to win what, the choice parts for their vehicle. And first up, Husky, what, we got the Husky liners and the headlight guard, right? Yep, yep, yep. Right. I feel like I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage. I'm not going to kid you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't oh, I'm not control. worried. All right, B. We're going to start off nice and easy. A little 38 special, a little revolver, right. nice and lightweight, small gun. All right, we'll get three shots a piece. It's got a little kick on it for a gun this small, though, so be ready for that. I'm ready, baby. All right. Dude, round one is done, it goes to the kid, but not bad, I gotta tell you, you did pretty good, B, but look, I got one right there in the red, this right there, dude, hey, not very happy. Rookie of the year, that's what I'm going for. I'm no, it here, is good. here, come on. I mean, he's running away at this point, for sure, all right? <laughs> round number two, coming up, let's go all for right. those breaks. I'm ready for you. All right, so this ain't looking real good for me right now. That's not looking real good for either one of us. D down goes the brake lines and the brakes. I still won, for the record. It's not over, son. I'm not proud of it. The B-Man don't go down easy. All right, dude, this one, we're running out of time. One shot only, all right? This one's for the axles. Whatever. One shot and one shot only. Matt totally gave that guy a nasty flesh wound in the shoulder, but you know what? I'm not taking any chances here. I'm up in the ante because you know what? I'm gonna introduce him to my little friend, the judge, baby. I ain't going home with nothing. Now that's what I'm talking about, son. What was that? <laughs> that's called me winning. It's called cheating. <laughs> Maybe. I never said I fought fair, buddy. But you I do have you, some tens. I was not going out like that. Some, look some at that. Some nines, some eights, some sevens. <laughs> I killed it. Got a little everything. Yeah, you did. It's like the sampler platter. All right. But you know what? I got those gear and axles. All right. Let's go back and put that stuff in. Come on. I'm framing this baby. It's time you win something. Bang, man. Cheer. Now that was a lot of fun. I actually have to start trusting you a little more, I think. And listening more often. You'd I be surprised how much that would work for you. And for the record, I won. 
No, no, no. I won the round that mattered. You see this? The judge, baby. This is what it was about, taking care of business. I won that one and that one. So that would be two out of three in my book. You right know there. what? Today, we're all winners. There's no losers today, son. It's like Blue Ribbon Day at soccer camp. Here's what I'm going to do because I feel so gracious in my winnings, right? I'm going to share with you. We get back to the shop now, back to business, and we've got the Husky Shield headlight guard right here. And this is going to look nice, all right? And it's going to keep this light looking like that because I'll be honest with you, we go over to my truck over here and I've got a little issue with the headlights. I need to hit that with a restoration kit, bring it up to life a little bit. But these look great and we want to keep them looking that way. Yeah, it's an easy Easy, inexpensive way to do so. You know, the guys from Husky Liner, what they've got is this headlight guard where it's not only going to protect against UV damage and environment damage, but, you know, real world damage, salt, sand, rocks, yep. all that kind of stuff from, from damaging these headlight covers. And, you know, they're really expensive to fix or replace. So by protecting them, we can keep them looking this way for a long period of time. And it's really easy to do. You know, what's nice about it is it's not like you get a big sheet and you've got to do a lot of cutting. They're pre-cut for each individual vehicle. So basically we've got a piece that's gonna cover from about there and this piece over here will be on the corner. So that's nice. It takes a lot of the potential error out of it. Yeah, the first thing you wanna do is clean the surface of any loose debris and dirt. This will get it out of the way and then we'll clean a little bit deeper by using our clay bar. Once we get the surface nice and clean and our acrylic nice and clean, then we can start putting on the solution and putting on our covers. All right, the key in installing the headlight guard is keep everything lubricated. That way you're not gonna get any fingerprints on it and you can slide it around. Yeah, and also helps to do it in controlled environments. You're not having dust debris flying around. Also the temperature, so this way uh, it'll seal properly. Now that went on nice and easy. My truck is looking good, buddy. It is, it is. It's looking fantastic. We need to go to break right now, finish up these lights, and when we come back, we got a lot more stuff to do on the Tundras. Yep. Welcome back to Truck U. So today we're working on this pair of Tundras that belong to some buddies of ours, right? Now the story on these guys is that they're firemen. So you know what that means. They work hard and they play hard. Now for a guy like that, this stock floor mat is just not going to do. It's not going to contain any of the mess and you certainly wouldn't want to ever rinse it off, right? So the first thing we need to do is just yank that thing out. Now they've got these clips that came out with it. We'll get those out of the way. And that brings us to this. These are the weather beater floor liners from Husky Liner. And these are a direct replacement for the floor mats. This is way better though. You take a look at this. Now when we slide this in, which takes all of a couple of seconds, you notice got a lot of the nibs on the bottom right there. That's gonna keep it from floating around. And we will slide this in and boom. All right, nice and in place. Now I took that stock clip out and they send the replacements right here. So this right into place. And then it's simply, you center it right over that and screw on the top piece and that holds everything into place. Now that it's there, you can really see the difference because look, it's got the ridge going all the way around. That's going to contain the mess, whether it's mud or dirt or water or snow. Whatever he brings into this truck, it's staying right there and it's protecting the rest of the floor. It goes up on the back side of the pedals back there and comes all the way out to the threshold. Another cool thing about these weather beaters is they're made right here in the USA and they are guaranteed for life. Now these guys have been making interior protection products for 25 years, so they know what they're doing. Well, Matt's over there working on those Husky floor liners. I'm back over here working on my 2008 Tundra. Now, it's all about protection up front. It's the most susceptible area of your truck, that front part of the, the hood right here, which gets all those scratches, all those rock chips. We're going to protect it with the Husky Shield paint protection film. Great thing about it, it's going to give you uniform protection that those ugly bug deflectors won't do. The nice thing about it, you won't have any scratches underneath. Well, the last piece of the puzzle for a Husky Liner protection plan on this Tundra is an area that is in dire need of it, and that's right here behind the wheel wells. You know, the bigger tire you put on, the more junk you fling up. You got rocks and stones and sand and salt beating up this area. It's almost like sandblasting it away, so you not only want to protect it, but these Nerf bars. So what we're going to do is install a brand new set of custom molded mud guards from Husky Liners. Now, these things are great because they're molded vehicle specific, so they're going to fit right and they're last gonna last for life because these things are guaranteed for life so that's a nice thing in this application no drilling no cutting they simply use existing bolt holes the key feature with these mud guards is the fact that they supply a protection film right here now this is similar to the stuff we used up front and what it's going to do is give you a barrier protection between the guard and your paint see over the course of time you're going to get dirt and debris might get down into this area without this protection film you'll damage the paint underneath so this way if you ever want to take these things off the paint will look great underneath there and they're the only ones who are doing it. Now, not only do they have mud flaps for the front and the back of this Tundra, but they got them for just about any application, including big guys like this for your dually. So they pretty much got you covered all the way around. 
Let's go inside the Duplicolor garage. Duplicolor, yes you can, in your garage. <laughs> Over time, the dashboard on your vehicle can take a lot of abuse and punishment from the sun. It can get to the point where it's so faded out it doesn't even match the rest of the interior. Now, you're either in that scenario or maybe you just want to change the look of it. Maybe you want to paint the dash, but you don't want to buy a new one. Either case, the Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric has your answer. Since you've probably used silicone-based products on the dash before, it's very important to use Duplicolor Prep Spray and get all the contaminants and all that silicone off. That way you have a nice surface for the vinyl and fabric to bond to. We opted to go with black and just change the whole look of the dash and the vehicle. It lays on nice and easy. Two and three coats of vinyl and fabric coating is all you need. Now the cool thing about this is it's made with built-in adhesion promoters, which means it's going to stick to the dash. Now keep in mind, anytime you're doing a job like this, Make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area. We totally changed the look of this dash and we restored the factory finish. And take a look at this. It's flexible. It's not going to crack or break on you. And that is nice, especially for parts like this, you know, dashboards or door panels or seats. It's just another way the guys at Duplicolor are helping you restore, restyle, and protect your vehicle in your garage. For more information about the vinyl and fabric or any other Duplicolor product, be sure to check out their website. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, check out speed.com or visit our website at truckutv.com. Welcome back to Truck U. So the next step for this particular Tundra is upgraded brakes, and we've got the one-click brake kit from Power Stop, and this is a nice combination of the Z16 Evolution pads and the zinc-plated rotors, and these things work together. They're specifically designed to work together with upgraded performance and everything that we need for this particular ride. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize when you upgrade your wheels and tires in terms of size that you need to upgrade your brakes as well because you've got a lot more rotating mass and it takes more brake basically to get it to stop. Otherwise, you're going to wear out brakes and pads, or rotors and pads really quickly. So by upgrading to this kit here, not only are we going to get decreased stopping distance because we got more clamped surface area, but you've also got upgrades like the slots and the drilled out holes right here, which can help dissipate heat and keep braking temperatures down. So all this is going to be a big upgrade. Plus, man, got to like the way they look too, because that zinc plating, man, is going to look good for a long time. So this is a nice kit. It's an alternative to spending a ton of money, but you still get that big brake feel. Now we're going to combine these new pads and rotors with a brand new set of stainless steel brake lines we're getting from Crown Performance Products. Now these are a significant upgrade over stock because you've got these factory rubber lines and these stainless steel ones. These stainless steel lines are rated over 4,500 PSI, which is way above you would ever want to push with your left foot, man. So it's going to handle all the pressure you want to put to it. They're legal for street and racing applications. And these things are great because you can get them any way you want them, different sizes, different colors, and different lengths. They're five layers too, including stainless steel and Kevlar. Now what's nice is they're not going to blow up like a loose balloon. There's no volumetric expansion. So the response is going to be immediate. When you hit the brakes, the fluid goes through there, nothing expands, and you feel it. And that's what you want. Yeah, they also got upgraded fittings on the ends as well. So this is a big upgrade and you combine it with the whole package here, it's going to be significant difference when it comes to braking power. It's a nice combination between the Crown Performance lines and the Power Stop brakes and it's a combination that's going to serve this truck quite well. So we put a little bit of brake system grease in the back of these pads just to eliminate any noise or squeaking so the pads won't move around on you. The last thing you want is a noisy braking system. So here's the scenario. I find myself underneath Bruno's truck, helping him out, installing parts that he supposedly won in the highly controversial round three of our little shooting experiment that we did today. I'm not quite sure how this is working. My plan has come full circle because this is exactly what I anticipated. See, I'm a nice guy, so I'm going to help you out, right? <laughs> I appreciate the love. what I do. You know, what we're trying to do basically right now is swap out the gears. And the reason why we're doing that, this thing's got bigger wheels and tires on it. So we need to kind of trick the truck to think it, that it's got the factory settings. So sure. by putting in a taller rear gear, it'll compensate for those bigger rear wheels and tires, and the whole thing will run a lot happier going down the road. It'll bring some of that RPM down and get this thing a little bit more torque when you hit the, when you hit the gas pedal. Now, we're going to accomplish that by installing the new ring and pinion from Nitro Gear and Axle. So we got a lot of things out of the way. I mean, drive shaft disconnected, brake lines, axles are popped out. Yep. I say that like we did it in 20 seconds. Yeah, and most importantly, remember to drain the diff, and that's going to save us a whole lot of mess. A lot of laundry, huh? All right, buddy, you ready? Yep. Now, this is a bit heavy. It's about 80 some odd pounds, so you want to be careful how you handle it. Alright, there we go. Good. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Got it. I got it. Got my finger almost a little bit, but that's good. 
Hey, how's that finger doing? It's still attached. Well, Thanks. that's good. I lost a shirt, man. I'm, I'm the one who's hurting here. I'm crying for you. All right, so Bruno was going over this a little bit earlier, and he was talking about tricking the driveline into thinking that we had the stock size tires on there, right? right? So what he's talking about is the fact that on the 2007 and newer Tundras, rolling with the 5.7s, if you've got a 35-inch or bigger tire on that, your sixth gear overdrive becomes all but useless because you'll never hit it. I mean, unless you're going about 70 or 75 miles an hour downhill, good tailwind, <laughs> and somebody pushing you. Yeah, he's exactly right, because what's going to happen with it while and if you go back and forth in fifth and sixth gear because it can't find that overdrive gear, right. you're going to want to burn up that transmission. It's going to overheat. Really, the only way to fix it is by changing that rear gear. And that's what we're doing with the Nitro gear and axle. It's a 488 gear, and it's going to make all the difference you can imagine with this thing. So what we've got is our old one sitting here. Now we got to put the new ring and pinion in. Now they give you everything you need. You've got the bearing. You've got the seal. You've got the shims. You've got all the stuff you need to do it. Now you just need to decide if it's something you want to tackle or not. Now it's something if you've got some skill working with your hands and you're a decent mechanic, and you can do it. It's all about taking the time, making sure you have the right backlash, the right contact pattern, all that stuff. Because if you don't, you're just going to eat up the new ring and pinion. You know, and if it's something you don't feel comfortable with doing, you know, there's a ton of local shops that can set it up for you. And I'm sure you can find one nearby. It'll save you a lot of time and money if you don't know what you're doing. It's all just right. all a matter of taking the time to do it right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because you don't want to go back and do all that over again. Right. You know? All right. So here, we need to go to break right now. But in the meantime, we need to get this stuff unwrapped and start ripping that apart. All right. Welcome back to Truck U. Now let's say you get a diagnostic done and it's showing that your injectors are failing. Well, nine times out of 10, it's not that the injector isn't working, it's that it's got stiction built up on the inside. That's where this comes in. It's the Hot Shot Secret Stiction Eliminator. Yeah, it's a very cost effective way to fix those failed injectors. Now, when you, like Matt was talking about, you know, the injector itself didn't go bad. It just got stiction inside of it, not allowing it to fire properly. Now to replace it or have an injector done at a shop, it's gonna cost you a lot of money in terms of labor and the cost of those injectors so it's a lot easier to pour in the stiction eliminator here from Hot Shot Secret. Let it free up those injectors and prevent it from doing so in the future. An easy fix for a costly problem. Yep and they offer a money back guarantee too. It's the Hot Shot Secret Stiction Eliminator. This is the CR Spotless DIC20. You all know the deal when you wash your vehicle, right? I think in my honest opinion, the best and most effective way to properly dry your vehicle is to pay somebody else to do it, but that's not always an option. Well, with a spotless system like this, having to dry your vehicle doesn't exist anymore because what it does, it deionizes the water you're using. So the hydrogen and the oxygen in the water, when it dissipates, it leaves li literally nothing left to leave a spot. So there's no more towel drying left. And you know the deal when you're washing your vehicle and you do it out in the sun, you do it on one side, by the time you get to the back, it's already dried, you've yeah. already got those water spots. Yep. And think about it too is the fact that anything you're using to dry the vehicle, whether it be a towel or a chamois or uh, microfiber, it's leaving fine scratches, little scratches inside that paint and over the course of time it's going to ruin the finish. Exactly. With the CR Spotless DIC20, you simply wash it, rinse it off with this and walk away because you're done. A truck's harsh, uncomfortable ride could be due to deteriorated cab and body mount bushings. This is a common occurrence on trucks over 10 years old. Over time, these bushings can begin to crack or get crushed by the weight and suspension of the truck. Restore the smooth ride with a complete mounting kit from LMC Truck. If you don't need to change out the entire truck at once, LMC Truck has individual kits for just the cab, bed, or core support. LMC Truck has kits for 67 and 98 Chevy and GMC trucks and SUVs and 67 and 96 Ford trucks and SUVs. This tip is brought to you by LMC Truck. Restore, maintain, and customize your truck with parts and accessories from LMC Truck. Hey, welcome back. We're doing a little art project here with a little marking compound to check our contact pattern. So what we've done is taken those nitro ringing gears, we've thrown it inside the center section. It went together remarkably fast. We've got our, our, our backlash is all set. Now we just need to make sure that our wear pattern is correct. Now the whole idea is you want to make sure you have enough contact area and it's not bottomed out whatsoever because this way it will cause damage in the real world. So let me spin this around a few times and we can see what we're looking for here. I will give you some mild resistance. Mild. And you mean that literally. All right, hold on, it's getting there. It's a good workout. 
So you can see here where the, the wear pattern or the marking pattern is nice and deep and centered inside of the gear itself. So this should be a pretty good setup, man. I think with this new ring and pinion gear, my truck is really going to come alive. I still have my legal team looking into this whole thing because it's gotten completely out of hand. But you know what happens is a lot of times guys will put the bigger tires on the trucks, right? And you notice that it's kind of bogging down a little bit. So you'll throw a cold air intake at it, maybe put a programmer on it. And yeah, you might get some gains on it, but you can accomplish even more than that just by swapping out the gears. Now you mentioned it's a little bit involved to do that. So some guys won't do it as a result of that. But you're going to notice big changes, especially in this truck with this, what we did right here. This is going to be good. It's just what this truck needed. So, and somehow I don't know how we're doing it on your Next time, all you gotta do is bring a bigger gun. Hey, these guys are the specialists when it comes to these aftermarket gear ratios for these late model Tundras. There's no doubt. So, it's cool. Good stuff in your truck, huh? Bruno, one last thing I want to provide for these guys before we send these trucks out of here is an element of security. And we're going to do that with these bolt locks from Stratech. Now, these guys use the trucks all the time. They haul things around, obviously. They need to be able to lock this stuff down. And do it in a convenient way where there's no combination. Remember, you don't have a slew of keys. You take that one key for the ignition or your door key, whatever it might be, and you insert it into the lock. Now, the first time you turn it, it's going to code the lock to that key. So now that ignition key will work on all different locks they have. And you don't have to go scram and look for, for that specific key for that specific lock. Yeah, and they've got them for all the major manufacturers too. So for Chevy, Ford, Jeep, Dodge, Nissan, you name it. And Stratec is the world's largest manufacturer of automotive locks and keys. Now they've got the hitch lock, obviously for the hitches. They've got the padlock, which is good to go on pretty much anything you want to bolt down. And this cable too, which is going to come in handy if you want to lock down a, a motorcycle or a generator or something. Yeah, today was a pretty cool day because not only do we get to do a lot of stuff in these trucks, but yep. we got to play with guns earlier on. Yep. And something that I was new at and I got to beat you at, which made it even better. Well, no. I totally won that thing because you cheated in round three. No, 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 no. so blatant. There was no rule that I had to use your gun. I just outsmarted Listen, you. You can't, handle, you can't live with that. Here's what you need to do. Just accept the loss and take it like a man. We've right? been doing this for seven years. You know I can't afford to that's, do that. <laughs> I got an ego here. I'm alive. <laughs> hey, we did some other cool stuff on these trucks, too. We've got some axles, gears. we got brakes. we got all that protection stuff from Husky. And we got some cool locks. And I have got a truck with more power. So you know what? I win. End of the story. I still think mine's a little bit taller. More power.